Okay, so why is it wrong for a logarithm or even an exponential function to have a negative base? Very simple. If you want to explore it, you can try it here. Let's keep it simple. Negative 2 as my base. Alright, you know what? Let's keep that right here. X could be, let's keep it simple, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. When x equals to 0, anything to the power of 0 is 1. If x is 1, keep going. Negative 5. If x is a 2, positive 25. Negative 125. One. Negative five. Positive twenty-five. You know what? Two base. Two base. One. One. Negative five. So extra. Don't worry about it. The idea is this from one, at a certain point in time, it gets to the negative, I guess, range. So at some point, it has to flip over to go to the positive range. And if you really want to explore, we can try 0.5 here, 1.5 here, 2.5 here to see what the numbers might be. So you want to take one? Ricardo, can you do negative 5 to the power of 0 0.5? Ricardo, can you do negative 5 to the power of 1.5? Uh, Emma doesn't have a calculator. Someone has a calculator in front of them. Mark, can you do negative 5 to the power of 2.5? Just to have an idea of what numbers are actually in between. Exponents or logarithms if you're trying to create a graph to be positive. Okay.